Halo 3 ODST was a fantastic game, and it recently just finally released for PC. The only downside is ODST has never had custom games like Team Slayer, Oddball, Capture the Flag, and it certainly has never had a Forge mode. That's why, even though these modes can't be properly added into the actual ODST game, I've gone ahead and made them, but in the Halo 3 engine. While it may be missing certain nuances of ODST, this is even better than the real ODST Forge and custom games because it supports 16 player lobby, full Halo 3 Forge canvases and all of Halo 3's maps, even AI such as the Flood and Elites which never made appearances in ODST, and of course, these ODST assets and this mod could even be applied to Halo 3's campaign. While in the past, there have been mods that converted content between Halo 3 and ODST, such as Lord Zed's really awesome Flood Firefight mod for Halo 3 ODST, I believe the amount of content that I have actually ported over between these games is a first, and I'm super excited and proud to say that because it really does feel like we have a slice of ODST in the engine. So what's new? What have I gone ahead and added into Halo 3? Well, first of all, the most obvious one is the Halo 3 ODST player. This player is fully working and has a full Halo 3 ODST HUD to go along with it, and while it's not 100% perfect, I have completely and manually ported over the entire HUD to support Halo 3's health system and Halo 3's slightly differing HUD system. On top of that, both the first person view models for the hands and legs are also in and fully working, which makes for the complete Halo 3 ODST player experience. But I took it a step further and did something really custom that I was excited about which is the Engineer Forge character. Instead of playing as a Forge monitor in Forge mode, you will in fact play as an Engineer, which flies around, looks super cool and kind of cute, and on top of that, I went ahead and in Photoshop designed a brand new and custom HUD from the ground up for the Engineer, since I figured flying around and seeing a Forge monitor HUD would feel a little weird, and frankly, I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out. On top of actually adding in these characters and their respective HUDs and first person view models, I went ahead and added assets from ODST as well. My favorite one by far has got to be the Police Pelican, which overall is kind of an insane thing to convert because of how many different assets are actually used in it but it is an awesome experience to actually fly around the Police Pelican and it looks super cool. On top of the Police Pelican, I had to add in, of course, the Oliphant, which is the smaller, speedier variant of the Elephant from Halo 3's multiplayer that's essentially a garbage truck in the city of New Mombasa. It works great, it's super funny to mess around with, and even can go flying off like with Scorpion spinning if you ever did that glitch back in Halo 3. Another really cool vehicle that I decided to add was the stationary Warthog turret. What you're seeing here is the Goss variant of this turret. It is the main one that you see in campaign on ODST, and honestly, I feel like it fits perfectly in the sandbox of Halo 3, and it's a really interesting little turret that you can have for base defense or whatever, and it's pretty awesome. The last vehicle that I added in was, of course, the Halo 3 ODST drop pod. Now, I love this. It is not even close to done, and I want to do so much more with it. Making it into a fully working drop pod is honestly my dream, and I hope to actually accomplish this. But for right now, it's a little drop pod. You can jump on into the seat, and you can basically look around on the inside of your little drop pod cockpit. Now, originally, when Halo 3 ODST was going to release, I had planned on porting over all of the custom weapons, which would be the silenced SMG, the automag, and the brute plasma rifle. However, 343 actually went ahead and did all of those for us, which is super awesome, and it even comes with the proper sound effects, which is something us modders would be unable to port between games with our very primitive tools. Of course, I actually went ahead and modified them a bit further, adjusting their view model to further match the actual Halo 3 ODST view models and little things like that, along with every other weapon in the game so that things look more ODST, so to speak. And so, overall, the ODST overhaul of Sandbox to begin with is basically 
complete, minus a few things that need to be tweaked and enhanced. What's next for this mod is me converting other maps such as Guardian, High Ground, Valhalla, Orbital, and some other highly requested ones that people have suggested over on my Twitter, and I am very thankful for because they would definitely know better than I would, as I'm more of a modder than a Halo custom games player. After the multiplayer maps are complete, I have plans to redo my custom Halo 3 ODST campaign mod, which is extremely exciting for me because I think being an ODST would be so fun in Halo 3's campaign and I'm very much looking forward to replacing pelicans with police pelicans, getting phantoms with searchlights, enabling visor mode for your campaign experience, and all of that super awesome stuff. So if you're looking forward to that, do be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell for when I upload mods like these, Follow me on Twitter where I'm constantly posting updates on the mods that I'm working on. And of course, join my Discord server where I'm hosting playtests, posting more mod updates, and chatting and interacting with you guys in the community. I'm going to leave you with a minute or two of highlights from my playtests that we did on Team Slayer, Capture the Flag, and King of the Hill, as well as some hilarious Forge highlights that happened. So I hope you enjoy this awesome footage of Halo 3, ODST, Custom Games, and Forge. Oh, we're engineers! Oh, 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 ooh! Oh, oh my god, what the heck just happened? What just happened to the Oliphant? Yeah, I was, I'm in it right oh. now. I love, how, I love how the towers are oh. shooting the Oliphant. Help! <laughs> oh, there it goes! What is happening? Green! <laughs> no, I green! Just, I just wanted <laughs> to drive it! <laughs> what? Wait, what's going on? What's happening? <laughs> oh my god! I just died. I really ran you over, he's still alive. Oh, ah! I kind of I kinda just no, punched why? and it kept working. You're a third party. Yeah, Let me kill the Oh my god! You shot it two times! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> wait, wait. How- what is You're that? You're lagging range? everywhere! <laughs> what is that launcher? I'm just gonna get a cut back. Second place now. This should not be left. No! <laughs> this is already devolved very quickly. What? I don't know. Strafes. My strafes are too good. You just have the all oh. for it. Walker has it, and it's just a nuke. Okay, this my guess is the best thing that's ever happened. Yes, Chopper. The Chopper. Oh my Wait, god. What are you doing, you <laughs> monkey? Oh, oh my god. Chopper! <laughs> no! Hang on, oh. I'm on the hill. Ah! I behind you, behind you! Ow! I tried to warn you! I tried to warn you! Oh crap. I know. Oh crap. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh my god. Vibrate. This is a close game. It's even closer than the last one. It's really oh, not. No. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these police pelicans, it's madness. Oh my god, it's just like, police pelicans. I'm like, is that only fun? Is it, like, is it invincible <laughs> green, you're dying. Too late. Oh, I just, okay, nice. Green, how are you not dead? Jesus Christ. I don't know. You <laughs> ran over. <laughs> you fucking ran me over 1 HP and then just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Got out. I'll put the shoe off myself. We can talk about.